reported that drug... 12,000 youngsters attended the event near Bournemouth. The party had been billed as a one-off. The guests were not to be disappointed. Organisers had been licensed for 8,000, but forgery on a massive scale brought at least 4,000 more into the open-air stadium. With the crowds came the drug dealing. Despite stringent body searches, police made over 50 arrests. They said the real number of offenders was far higher, but sheer weight of numbers prevented detectives from operating effectively inside the stadium. This is the first type of, of um, event we've had like this um, in our area, so we didn't quite know exactly what to expect. But um, our worst fears, I think, um, have come true here. Drug abuse aside, the 12-hour extravaganza passed off largely without incident. But long after the music had wound down, police were still monitoring traffic chaos as revellers flooded towards the beaches. Dorset police believe their low-key operation, coupled with good intelligence, has been a success. But they say the number of drug arrests alone supports their original objection to this event. This afternoon, hundreds of party-goers recharged their batteries on Bournemouth's beaches. Many will be partying again tonight before even thinking of heading for home. Robert Hall, ITN, Dorset.